the middle part of next week, you can well imagine that the weather will be really quite unsettled if that low lingers. But other models are suggesting the low may scoot away and the high pressure builds back in, particularly to the southern half of the British Isles, settling things rather nicely. Bye bye. The end of the international military presence in Afghanistan. U.S. forces have just said that their pullout is over. I'm here to announce the completion of our withdrawal from Afghanistan and the end of the military mission to evacuate American citizens, third country nationals, and vulnerable Afghans. The news came after a day in which the last American planes flew out of Kabul carrying civilians, diplomats, and soldiers at the close of a 20-year operation. In Kabul, accusations of civilian casualties caused by the U.S. in these final days after a drone strike aimed at Islamic State militants. Uh, we lost 10 persons, including my daughter. She was uh, dead. two years old. She was two years old. We'll be live in Kabul and in Washington and ask what comes next for the Afghan people. Also tonight. Oh, my God! Yo, yo! High winds and life-threatening floods as Hurricane Ida hits Louisiana. And in Tokyo, it's another gold for Lee Pearson, the 14th of his career. Good evening. Within the last hour, it has been announced that the United States has completed its military withdrawal from Afghanistan 20 years after the military engagement in the country.